Okay, good morning once again. Good day. This is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools in Microsoft Excel. In this video presentation, I will discuss how to properly use cell referencing. If we would like to really maximize the use of Microsoft Excel, we have to know how to reference cells so that we can be able to create formulas or utilize these values of the cells into our functions, into the functions that we're going to use. Now first, uh, be aware of the name box because the name box tells you the address of the active cell or the range of cells. So say for example here, uh, the active cell is in E3 because the name box tells so. It is in column E and row 3. First, let me show you what if I'm going to uh, uh, create a formula, say for example, equals A2. What does this mean? It will get the value of A2. So it will get Arvin. Then actually you can copy and paste the values if you want to. Okay, that's the first one. Say for example that we have a value here and a value here. So we can have equals E2 plus F2. Okay, so that's... Now, when you have a formula, anytime you change the value of the source, then automatically the values where the formula is placed will also change okay so if you have more than one formula then it will also change by the way take note in in microsoft excel we use the plus we use the plus for addition we we use the minus for uh, subtraction we ha we use asterisk for multiplication we use slash for division but take note of the use of our parentheses the close and open parentheses this is very important when we make use of grouping we don't use square brackets curly brackets only the parentheses for groupings and take note also that all formulas and functions should start with an equal sign okay so say for example, that's the example, equals uh, E2 times 20%. So I use a reference E2. E2 as the cell address of the source and multiply it to 20%. Okay. So that's first cell referencing within the same worksheet take note of that so say for example equals month of c2 it will get 12 so you can just copy and paste it or click the fill handle if you want to okay it's how to get the month of a certain date or time uh, date particularly now what if I would like to create a formula to another sheet, in another sheet, but the source is coming from another worksheet? Say, for example, I would like to uh, get the values of first name and last name in employee underscore info worksheet and place it here as a full name of course there are a lot of functions and formulas that we can use now as an advance in in discussing formulas and functions let me just show you say for example uh, emp underscore info that's the name of the worksheet exclamation point 
what's the source? What's the cell address? I think it is in A2. What does this mean? The employee underscore EMP underscore info is the name of the worksheet and then have an exclamation point and then the cell address or the cell name of the source so that's the format always specify the name of the worksheet exclamation point and then the name the cell name okay i'll just press enter you notice it's arvin why paste why because the value of A2 in EMP underscore info is RV. But I would like to get, combine the values of A2 and B2. This is how we can make use of a certain function. Let me edit this one. I'll use concatenate as a function concatenate comma uh, inside the double quotation mark i will have a space why so that there's space between the first name and the last name value okay comma the comma here separates the different text or source of values emp underscore info exclamation point b2 so concatenate is a function that will combine sets of strings. Okay. When I press enter here, we now have Arvin Alonso. I'll just copy or paste or click the fill handle, then I have the values. Okay. So another uh, example of cell referencing. Say for example, we have uh, in column B we have the days work and we have the rate per day in column C and we would like to compute the basic pay so we just have equals B4 times C4 enter then you have this uh, basic pay so click and drag the fill handle if you want to or copy and then paste it uh, at the bottom or to the cells below the first formula so that's how we can make use of uh, cell referencing. What if we would like to get values from another workbook? Okay. I have another file here. We have the data tree. Say for example that in this workbook, assuming that this workbook will... Uh, have or will handle all the possible deductions of an employee and I would like to get the name of the employees in the cell ref file using data one as the worksheet so going back to this equals open square bracket emp uh, cell ref but cell ref, this is the file, the source, xlsx. Be sure to include the extension name. And then the worksheet name, data1, exclamation point, the cell address or cell name, A4. I'll press enter. Then you have Arvin Alonso. You just click and drag this one. So, take note, to get a value from another workbook, specify the workbook name or file name together with this extension, close and open square bracket, and then the worksheet, the sheet name, exclamation point, the cell name. So that's how to use this one. Or say for example, we have the total deduction here equals sum C2 to 
G2. I'll just copy this one and paste it here. Okay, going back, this is another file. I'll go back to the cell ref file. Say, for example, I would like to have here total deduction. What's the source? Data tree. Okay, so if it's data tree equals open bracket data uh, data tree close square bracket the name of the uh, worksheet the name of the worksheet is dead so dead exclamation point and then b2 i think it's in column b2 the total detection is in column b2 enter oops what's the problem i forgot to include the extension name point x l s x enter copy paste the last uh, discussion on cell referencing is what if we have changed the name of a cell range say for example i will highlight this one and you notice that when i highlighted all of this i have days how to do that highlight for example this one you notice that it's still a4 it gets the first cell in the range of selected cells just change this one say for example call this one name and then enter so when you highlight this one it should be the cell name on the name box should show you the cell name so this one is called days this one is called rate so in the formula instead of using the original cell address name i can just have days times rate enter copy paste why is it zero because there are no values here so let us put values you notice it automatically computes okay so that's all for cell referencing i hope you learned something new in this video presentation god bless everyone